Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the New York Jets and the Tennessee Titans. All that and more coming up next. Being located in the Music City, this building has hosted a lot of great music acts since its inception. But this is what she was made for, NFL football. And that's what we have today in Nashville at Nissan Stadium. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. Thomas Morstead to get this one started. And off we go from Nashville. And bulldozing his way through. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So here are the Titans ready to go on offense for the first time. And it's Will Levis, the 25-year-old at quarterback in his second season out of Kentucky. And last year's rookie year, a bit of a mixed bag for the young signal caller out of Kentucky. Showed off plenty of tools but was hurt in the preseason, and it took a little while to get going. But once he did, he showed exactly why the Titans wanted him. Toughness, leadership, and a big arm. The team rallied around him down the stretch. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Working from the gun, here's Levis. That finds the former Jaguar, Calvin Ridley. And that'll get him the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slam. Nice grab there by Ridley, who made the move to Tennessee this offseason after recording over 1,000 yards and eight touchdowns in his lone season as a Jacksonville Jaguar. And now that the rust of the previous couple of years has worn off, the Titans, they're certainly hoping he can take it a step further in 2024 in Nashville. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Jermaine Johnson. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. And here's a give to Spears. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. In motion right is Hopkins. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Caught left side, Hopkins. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So here come the Jets to take over. Led at quarterback by a man back to full health in season number 20 now and a second one in New York, and that's Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> and I can't help but chuckle as we look at last year's stats for Aaron Rodgers. Zero for one, no touchdowns, no interceptions, 
I can't believe that we're looking at a stat line like that, but remember, he only played four plays. The Jets know that will not be a stat line for this year, and they can't wait to see the old numbers replace the ones you're seeing there. To throw, it's Rodgers. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. I you put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. Second and ten. Throwing now is Rodgers. Taking in left side, it's Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. Now Rodgers. Rodgers sliding to a stop with a first down. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him the first. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Now it's Rodgers. The throw out wide gonna be incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways call this penalties. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll run for the first time with Brees Hall. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. Rodgers going to throw. Got a man. It's the rookie out of the third round. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Here's Rodgers to throw. Look at right side, and it's intercepted. Picked up by LeJarrius Sneed. And the Titans are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. Levis to throw off play action. That to the sideline and it's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. But their defense got him the football with an interception. They trot out there, Charles, in the very first play. They give the football right back. <laughs> Brand, I almost expect you coming like an auctioneer. We've got two, we've got two. Do I hear three? Remember, it was two in a row. Would we hit three in a row? Because these offenses, they've got to be a little bit more careful as they go forward. These defenders, they're locked in and really focused. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. 
That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points, stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Caught. It's Wilson. And he's got this down to the 35. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. And that's how you shake off the interception you throw on the opening drive. Come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Here's a quick throw out to Wilson. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. Throw over the middle. He's got Ruckert. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. Well, that's now four completions in a row, a good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And the Jets are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. They'll run with Hall. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Brees Hall. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Jets use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley, and that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. A drive that time of six plays, and it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully competent right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. 
And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. He finds Hopkins complete. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. And New York set to take the field. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this will be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Handoff, running left, here's Hall. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Jackson. Oh, able to avoid him. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And it'll be Titan football. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now Levis. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 
First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Levis from the gun. Throw right side, caught by Ridley. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Just need a yard here, second and one. Levis to throw once more. That's to the tight end, Wiley. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 12-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Levis to throw it. This is caught. And the Titans are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the run. Oh, nice job there putting the ball right in the doorstep of the goal line. Couldn't quite get into pay dirt, but he got awfully close. Let's see if they can cash it in over the next couple of plays. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Spears is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. On second and goal, here's the option. Stop short. Down at the one. Had the broken tackle, but couldn't get it all the way home. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. On third and goal, they're going to run the option. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Will Levis keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Titans are an extra point away from drawing level. And maybe the defense caught a little by surprise there that he took off and got in? Yeah, I would think so, because if you're analyzing it from that side of the ball, you're thinking running back, fullback. <laughs> it takes you a while before you get to the quarterback. Nick Folk for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the drive is capped off with a touchdown run by Will Levis. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. 
They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. He gets that to the longtime charger. It's Mike Williams. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Second down in a yard. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one covers 29 yards, first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. On play action, Rodgers. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Ernest Jones, the linebacker, with a sack. Blitz came there from the inside, and there just wasn't much resistance. No, not at all. That means that defensively, they timed it up perfectly and matched up perfectly. They drew all the blockers to the other guys, left a free runner back to the quarterback, and you know what a free runner turns into? What? A free hitter. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. To throw, it's Rodgers. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 16. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. To throw is Rodgers. He's got Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown, and the Jets have taken the lead. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out, but they'll do so fatigued. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So the drive there took six plays. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. Morstead out now following the touchdown kick. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Tennessee offense set to go again. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. 
He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Levis. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Levis sets up to throw here. That is caught. Room to maneuver at the 35. And finally down at the 32-yard line. On third and ten, they go flying past the marker and get nearly 40 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and ten just outside the 30. He completes it to Ridley. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. From the third team now, they work on first and ten. They'll throw it again with Levis. He completes it to Boyd. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second down. Levis looking to throw. And that's caught one more time by Boyd. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Levis to throw off play action. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Jermaine Johnson. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. Back to throw, it's Levis. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We were treated to a solid first half out of the running back, Brees Hall. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far.
And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Here's Rodgers. He finds Wilson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. On first and ten, it's Hall. Breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And they'll come up second and seven. They'll go again with Hall. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Every team in the league always wants explosive plays, breakout plays, and even more so when it's your horse who's had a tough time during the game. Yeah, not that great in the first half. Maybe he can recalibrate here in the third and then carry that over to the fourth. I like that. Recalibrate. Strong. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle. You put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Rodgers now to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. And the Jets are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. From the two now, second and goal. Hall again. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. Calling a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Rodgers now on third and goal. That is caught by Williams. He's got a Jets touchdown. 
A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Jets take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. Through the middle of the field, Calvin Ridley, touchdown Titans. Calvin Ridley, 74 yards. And the Titans are back within a score. And nothing too crazy there. A quick slant, and then he just had a seam. He found a seam. And when you hit it on the run like that, and I mean the pass right to the receiver who's already in motion and moving, sometimes he just takes it and runs away from everyone else. And he ran it into the end zone. And the defense, they've got to adjust there quickly. That's tough on them. That's really tough because everything was executed well. Ball's out of his hands quickly, into the hands of the receiver, and then he was gone. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. The will line up for the two Levis will try to throw for the two. This is caught. Was he in? Yes. Two points. And the formula there on the two-point try to go five wide. Not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that if someone is going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run ahead of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. team on the field now as they will send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Jets offense and Aaron Rodgers getting set for their next drive. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. All again on second down. And he'll get it out 
near the 40 to the 39. 50 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. And it didn't take long for all to remind everyone just how special a player he is. He totaled nearly 1,600 yards from scrimmage a season ago. And he appears to be picking up right where he left off as he moves the chains for this offense. Here's Rodgers to throw. Got a man here. It's Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. And officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Throwing now is Rodgers. He's got it to Williams. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. I think as he began this throw, you saw that the area was congested, but he has a lot of confidence in his arm, and he fits that one in there nicely to pick up the catch. Not much yardage afterwards. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. They'll give to Hall. Bulldozes past him. <laughs> He's still on his feet. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first down, right back to Hall. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They'll run with Hall. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play, and that's going to lead them to fourth down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Working from the gun. Rodgers. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. And you wonder, Charles, could that decision come back to haunt them later? And it really could, because in this situation, you kick the field goal in a tight game like this, that's a good play. Yeah. But maybe what he's saying to himself is, I'm just not a big proponent of the old idea that any possession that ends in a kick, I'm happy with. He wanted to be really aggressive. A little twist here in the third quarter. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. This is second and eight. Well, they go play action. Here's Levis. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Levis. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now Levis. A short throw taken in by a Conquo. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 34-yard line, here's second and two. Pollard gets it off the option. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Levis back to throw. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves it with two to go on second down. From the 41, here's second and a couple. In motion goes the tight end. Levis to throw it. A short throw taken in by Conquo. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They're going to look to throw. And that one caught downfield by Boyd. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. 23 yards on the play. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Little bootleg here, Levis. Got a man, it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Josh Riley from 10 yards out. And the Titans put together a fourth quarter drive to take the lead. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to drop those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough. They couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. On for the extra point is Folk. And that will make this a four-point game. That time, a nine-play drive. And the result in the end, the Titans touchdown. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Jets offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. 
And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes, and he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in the tight win. He had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Caught, it's Wilson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Well, this offense hasn't been at their best here. They've made some mistakes. They've been frustrated. They've been largely shut down. But then you look up and say, wait a second. This is a one-score game. So they're still very much in this. And they're on the move here with a first down. Hall on a give up the middle. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Credit the tackle for loss to Harold Landry. That's uh, a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. To throw is Rodgers. Throwing quickly to Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Sebastian Joseph Day breaking through for the sack. Well, they tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. They went to their big body tight end on second down in hopes that he could plow his way to a first down. But they were ready for him defensively and ended up holding him to a modest gain. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Now Rodgers. That is caught. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 33. The jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now. And that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming. And they pick up another first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now it's Rodgers. Finding Williams once more, complete. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Second down and three. Throwing is Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. Still going. They can't stop him. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not. And he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Rodgers to throw once more. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. 
Aaron Rodgers hitting Alan Lazard. And the Jets answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. A 10-play drive that time, and it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here's first and 10. Here's Levis. Able to hook up here with Ridley. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nice. Well coached. A team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Levis to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Levis. Complete. Pollard. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Levis, he'll look to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. They'll come up first and ten here. Throwing now. Here's Levis. That's complete once again to Hopkins. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Here's second down. Back to throw, Levis. Throw left side, complete. That's Hopkins. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets, 26. Hey, you got your first down. Get up to the line of scrimmage and spike it. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and 10. Levis voids the target, and he has it over the middle. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Yeah. 
second and six coming up. Pollard will take it up the gun. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. One final try here for Will Levis. And this is going to be caught. It's caught. And they've won the football game. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gasp from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Titans are winners here as we say so long from Nashville.